Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our daily word. It's Friday morning. Thank you for joining me for our time together as we reach the end of another week. So we have we've talked about many things this week, and we conclude this morning. Uh, probably my one of my favorite post-resurrection stories. You know, it's after the resurrection. The disciples have finally uh, gone back to fishing. And we know that um, Jesus told Peter he would deny him. And Peter said no. And Peter then, of course, denied him three times. And so we hear this story. Jesus uh, invites them to come have breakfast. And then we hear these words from the 21st chapter of the book of John. When they had finished breakfast, Jesus said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? He said to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Feed my lambs. A second time he said to him, Simon, son of John, do you love me? He said to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Tend my sheep. He said to him a third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter felt hurt because of this and said to him, Because he said to him, Do you love me? After he said this, Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, feed my sheep. So it's interesting. I heard someone say just the other day about this particular text that they call this the Jesus fish fry. And I like that. I like that. I guess kind of a new connotation to the story. It's called the Jesus Fish Fry, where everyone's invited to come and to share in this meal. And someone said, the same person, that the Jesus Fish, this, excuse me, this Jesus Fish Fry might be just as important as the Last Supper. And you say, well, why is that? Well, it's because Jesus taught us in this Jesus fish fry how to love each other. And yes, we are back to that. We'll always be at that. Um, It's never going to leave us in my conversations with you about the daily word and what Jesus really calls us to. Now, Peter at the cross during the crucifixion, denies him three times. And we like to sometimes give Peter grief for that, except that's probably what we would have done. Had Peter acknowledged with a yes to the questions, do you know who this is? His fate would have been the same that day. I think there's no doubt. And so Jesus takes this opportunity in front of everybody after they've had their fill of the meal Jesus takes this opportunity to then in one way restore Peter but in another way he also helped Peter to love himself while affirming you know his love for God And so Jesus then takes it a step further about this love stuff. And I think think where Jesus takes it and where I want to go with this this morning is where I've tried to have us go um, in all these days together. Today is daily word number 571, 571. We've talked about love a lot, love of God, love of neighbor in all kinds of iterations. And I know... You may get tired of hearing that from me. But Jesus does a couple of things here that I think are important. One, he restores Peter. You know, I would I would venture to guess, you know, if we were there, when Jesus confronts Peter, I would guess that Peter might have had a hard time looking Jesus in the eye. You know, Jesus said, you're going to deny me. Peter said, nope, not me. I'll never do it. And of course, Peter does. And so when Jesus 
asks him these questions, um, Peter says, but Lord, you know I love you. You know I do. You know I do. And the third time, um, Peter's hurt by the third question. I mean, how many times do you have to say, yes, I love you? So Jesus gives Peter this restoration, this, this healing, this ability to then be forgiven. And I think importantly, he gives Peter this, this possibility to love himself again. And then Jesus helps Peter to know that he's loved by God and by him, and that that's important. But then Jesus goes a step further. Every time when he asks Peter, do you love me more than these? Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Jesus says, feed my lambs, tend my sheep, feed my sheep. You see, there's this third piece that's so important here. Love yourself, love God, and then love and tend to your community. Do these three things. And so I think this, this conversation with Peter and Jesus is so deep for us. It has such rich meaning for us. You know, that, that we're called to love ourselves, to love God, and to tend to and love our neighbors. That we should fill ourselves with good things. That we should live into the call to be Christian and then to look at God, to look at God, you know, to look at God and have God show us how we're called to live. So for Peter and for everyone who listened that day, um, the task was big, but it was also simple. Feed my sheep. Love each other. Tend my sheep. Love each other. Take care of my sheep. Love each other. And I think that's the burgeoning call that we have in our lives still today, all these years after the resurrection. Like Peter, we don't always get it right. Like Peter, we don't always love like we should. But Jesus continually continually forgives us, heals us, restores us, says, look, love yourself, Jim. Love God, Jim. And tend to each other. Love the community. Love each other. And this is such important words for us. I got good words for us to end our week together on. Love God. Love each other. Love yourself. You know, and, and have this idea that we should live out fully God's call on us. And when we do that, you know, we can live it out fully. I think then it's then that we've made the biggest difference in the world. And I, I pray that we would hear God's call clearly to you and to me today uh, to love with all that we have. So Jesus demonstrates to Peter um, this important thing, you know, you're forgiven, Peter. I love you, Peter. But you have to care for each other now. I'm going to be gone, which he was shortly thereafter. Now you need to care for each other. The lambs at that moment, you know, the sheep at that moment were the other disciples gathered there. But then, of course, we know the disciples that, that are sent out, um, the sheep, of the field are a large number of people. And so as we live our lives, as this daily word speaks to us, I know, you know, that I too need forgiven. I too need to love myself and love God. And I too need to take care of feeding the sheep that Jesus has given me. And I hope that you and I would look broadly at that. And to know that the tending of the lambs, the feeding of the sheep, is more than just the people in our household. It's everybody we encounter. It's the neighbor. It's the stranger. 
It's the person we look a little strange at. Because it's then that we live into our birthright as Christians, as people of the way, as followers of Christ. And I pray that we can find ways to do that with all of our lives. So, that's the end of a week. Thanks for joining me this week for our Daily Word. Hope you'll join us Sunday morning as we hear from the book of Hebrews, as we talk about faith and what that means for us. And then that's at 1015 on Sunday morning. We also share in communion. So if you're going to watch uh, via Facebook Live Sunday morning, make sure you have your communion elements ready. Otherwise, join us in person. You're always welcome to be with us. So know of God's love that surrounds you. Know my love for all of you. I'll see you Sunday morning at 1015 and Monday morning again then at 10 o'clock. Have a great day and a great weekend.